Let's welcome Dick Termas. on the inside of the ball and you're looking at the scene around you, they make more sense. Because north is this way, south, east, west, up, down, okay? Uh, and then you move it off of your head and you look at it from the outside. So you're looking at it from the outside, what you really were inside of. One of the reasons I was interested as a professor of education was there's so much in each of these spheres to understand and they serve as a metaphor to help us think about combining disciplines like math, physics, art, psychology. To the six senses for the six vanishing points. So there's the ear, here's the mouth, the tongue, taste, here's the nose, smell, and sight coming over there. Dick has been pursued by mathematicians. He's been on the cover of uh, mathematics magazines. The Carl Jung Society is interested in his work, uh, as well as artists the world over. line that I draw is what's called a greater circle. In the other words, in geometry, it divides the ball exactly in half. Every time I draw a line, it divides the ball exactly in half. And that's why the math guys like this stuff. Oh, it's amazing. It's definitely the one of a kind. Um, when you look at it, I guess it's sometimes a little speechless because you, you can't. I mean, I personally try to find the perspectives, the different points, the dimensions, and sometimes that you just kind of get lost. If I didn't have the six-point perspective system down, there'd be no way to do this. I mean, you really, you can really see that these lines vanish, right? In fact, my little pink, my little orange line is uh, point is still there. Yeah, it is. It, huh? <laughs> and all of these lines here that are parallel to each other within that room all vanish to that point. And if you follow those lines around, they vanish to the opposite side. So there would be a vanishing point right here, too. That one, it, uh, I, I'd seen it at the uh, beginning stages, and I uh, and I didn't quite get it. And now I'm just, you know, starting to get it a lot more, and it just makes my mind click. There are so many things he mentioned just offhandedly about his work that I was like, oh, I never, did, I didn't even think of seeing that, or I didn't think of that. And uh, you know, it looks so simple, and yet it's so complex. This, this one though takes one more step. If you think of these transparent holes as being mirrors, oh. as mirrors, 
you're looking into the mirror and you want to see the reflection that the mirror gives off, typically it would reflect what's behind you, right? What's behind you is on the back side of the ball. When you look at the back side of the ball through these holes or these mirrors, it actually reflects properly. And it's backwards also, just like a mirror is. <laughs> this IQ has to be astronomical. It's just amazing. I think, I, I really think that he's a blessing as an artist and that I feel very wonderful and uh, blessed to get to know him and be around all of his work. This is why he's so cool. First of all, he's got a video of himself putting up this show on YouTube posted already. So that, and it has music by Lang Termas. So let's hear it for that. Yeah. Um, he's got his own Wikipedia page. That's how cool he is. I'm not kidding. No artists here have had a work Wikipedia page yet. So there you go. You know, you're, you're one of a kind. <laughs>